their stupid, shitty, rinky-dinky, free-to-play, garbage-ass game. You know, I heard that companies do that. They try to make it look exclusive to join their beta of the game, you know, to, to make it look like it, it has more value than it actually does. I uninstalled that shit so fast. It, it was the dumbest fucking shit. First, it put me in a match with a bunch of AI, and I just wandered around supposed to open some stupid crate and once I got to the crate some stupid AI floating robot attacked me I killed it very quickly and then I opened the, the crate and then I was like this fucking sucks and then I quit the game and then I uninstalled it you know there's so many games that just suck fucking ass they suck ass so goddamn bad I swear to god Nostalgia. I might as well install Fantasy Star Online too, I swear to God. Because I grew up playing Fantasy Star, I might as well just stick to the franchises I grew up on or something. I don't know. Nobody watches anybody play that shit. You'll notice anybody that runs a Fantasy Star Online channel, they usually just sit in a game lobby and chit chat and yap. Yap, 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 yap. Because nobody's going to watch them actually play that stupid shit. What happened to video games? Honestly, I think video games got surpassed by technology. I remember there was, like, in the old, the old days, like, um, video games, like, they died off for a little bit because companies kept releasing trashy video games. They flooded the market with dog shit. And people just got tired of video games, you know? And then they came up with, like, the Nintendo seal of approval and shit like that to try to filter out all the go goddamn garbage ass shit ass fucking games that make everybody just lose interest you know man things have definitely changed I've seen so many people just quit and bail out of a lot of this shit because you know a lot of people get into this shit and they realize it doesn't go anywhere and it's a waste of fucking time oh boy oh boy oh boy especially with like today's technology you know, there's so many things. I, I would rather sit here and make some shitty ass video with my godlike equipment than play some dog shit f fucking game. I installed Rainbow Six. I got the, the Tom Clancy games. They were so fucking bad. Like, I don't have time to sit in your waiting rooms. I don't have time to sit in waiting rooms. Like, you do, you do not respect the player's time. I got better things to do. You gotta get some fucking teenager to sit there in goddamn waiting rooms for each match to start. I don't got... I, my, my time has more value than that. I could be doing anything. It's more worth my time than sitting there in some shitty-ass waiting room. Give me a fucking break. Get the fuck out of here. Your game is shit. And then those games are like, hey, if you leave mid game, we're gonna ban you for a little bit of time because you're ruining everybody else's experience. Well, I'm leaving mid game because your game sucks ass. You wasted my time. It's like when you go to a job interview and they're like, oh, you know, what made you quit your last job? You know, what happened? And then you tell them, you know, what made your employee quit that I'm replacing, you know? You know, obviously, obviously, your job is not that good. Fuck you. There's this woman that makes vi uh, videos. My wife was scoffing at her, but I think she's a, she's a fucking genius. The more that you um, listen to her, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. There's this woman that talks about, like, toxic workplace and, like, people being jealous of you and, you know... It's, it's more about kissing ass than actually being a good worker. And that is entirely true. You will get your ass fired so fast by disrespecting management, talking back, you know, to the higher ups. I mean, you could be the best worker, but oh my God, if you did, you know, if you, you know, lose respect for, yeah, this bitch right here. This bitch is amazing. This, this woman right here. I don't know, you, you guys probably have not come across her. I've come across her channel a lot. She is just fucking hilarious. Yeah, here we go. A 
again, I don't think that's appropriate or fair. I work in letters. That's my educational background. I have worked as a translator, interpreter, editor, copy editor, proofreader, you know that hiss in our background. And writer, including technical. I wonder if that's our microphone. I think it is. In languages and journalism. I do not have a degree in psychology. I have not studied psych since high school, which was over 30 years ago. Backs up with an abusive narcissist, allegedly for entertainment purposes only, who probably smacks her around because that's what she's used to. That's her normal. She keeps saying throughout the season that she knows that she has problems and that she needs to work on herself. And I really respect Anyway, that. um, it, it's true. I, I, you know, definitely when I've worked jobs, I, I, I work fast, effectively. I have so much free time when I work a job because I work so goddamn fast. I get all the work out of the way. And then I have all this free time. And companies cannot stand seeing somebody sit around not doing anything you have to look busy the whole time you know or you're wasting company time you know so you need to be like one of these slow and steady kiss ass lazy fat slops you know to to work at a lot of these places because they can't comprehend people that just work fast and then fuck off they work fast they work hard they play hard you know and then you have like these management people always watching over, you know, every freaking job that you can possibly get. There's always some higher up in the chain of command watching you, you know, like, oh, you know, I'm going to I'm going to do my job by, you know, fucking with people all day. You know, oh, my, my job is to make sure everybody looks busy. I've known so many kiss asses that just look busy. They're not doing shit. They're just looking busy, you know. God forbid you start, you know, chilling, playing on your phone, you know. And then, like, you know, they, 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 you get all your work done, you know. But, oh my God, God forbid you're chilling and relaxing, you know. It's like, it's like you, you take a test and you're the first person done. And, and you're just sitting there relaxing. And then the teacher comes up to you and is like, you should be doing something. I don't know what you should be doing, fucker, but you should be doing something. And you're like, fuck you, I already finished. What do, what do you want? You know, eat shit, bitch. And then they're like, you're fired. We're kicking you out. And you're like, what? What, bitch? You know? Fuck you. People just don't get it. Yeah, my skippity toilets.